Let's go to Luke 22 real quick. Then came the day of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. What's he talking about? When the Passover must be killed. Well, I'm sure we all understand this, don't we? All of us with eyes to see and ears to hear, we understand who the Passover lamb is. We know who that is. And it's also pointing to what? Resurrection Sunday. When the Passover lamb is killed over Passover and he rises again on the third day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, boom. Passover lamb on Passover rises. He's resurrected and it now becomes Resurrection Sunday. This, brothers and sisters, is what he's talking about. This is what we've been talking about, brothers and sisters, since we started this video. The Passover that connected us with Easter. Resurrection Sunday. When the two days happen together, Passover Sunday joins Resurrection Sunday. What we should have always been looking for is when these two days happen simultaneously. And as we've shown, brothers and sisters, it happens here. And it only lands on April the 4th this year in 2021. Although this is a Passover and Resurrection Sunday, it does not land on April the 4th, as we've shown you before. As was the first Resurrection Sunday was. Oh, there's more, brothers and sisters. There is more. We barely have just started. Believe me, I'm looking at my notes right now. I, I may, may, maybe I'm halfway done. But there's a lot more coming. A lot more bombshells. This is going to be interesting. The reason I showed you the stuff I showed you about the firkins and the water pots. Let's go back to that for a second. Is because it's going to build on what you're going to see next. And you're not going to believe what you see next. I'm going to show you this story playing out in the heavens. You will actually, with your own eyes, see this story playing out in the heavens. But we're going to build on this. So let me get my, um, my notes here for just a second. And we're going to show you how all this truly comes together of what we just built up to right now. When we go and read um, Luke 22, 9, let's go back to Luke 22, 9, and I'm going to show you how all this is going to start tying together, and we're going to see this sign playing out in the heavens. That's what I'm going to show you next. 22, 9. And what's happening here is Jesus, it's time for Passover. We just went over this. Then came the day of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. Are you getting this? This story isn't just about any Passover. This story isn't about just some other Passover lamb that's about to be killed. This story in Luke 22 is the last Passover. And then it turns into Resurrection Sunday. He's talking about himself. This is our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, on the Passover, who's about to be killed. Now watch how the rest of this story plays out. And he sent Peter and John saying, go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. He's telling his disciples, go prepare a place for us so we can have Passover. And they said unto him, where wilt thou be we prepare? And he said, and I want everyone to pay attention to this. This is going to be a mega bombshell beyond anything you've ever seen. I want you to pay attention to this now. And he said unto them, behold, when you are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. And you shall, and you shall say unto the good man of the house, the master saith unto thee, where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall show you a large upper room furnished there and make it ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. So what's going on? He's instructing them to go out into the city. 
and you're going to find a man. You're going to find a man bearing a pitcher of water and you need to follow him into the house where he enters. And tell the man that the Lord master is sent is sent them. And they're going to seek out the guest chamber where they're going to eat the Passover. And the, and the Lord wants them to make it ready. That's what they're going there for. I want you to just pay attention to what's happening here. He's telling them to go and seek the man with the pitcher of water. You want to see this all play out? Let me show you this first. You see how this was six years ago? We just went over this. The six firkins of water. The, t- the measure, firkins means uh, measure. Six years ago till today, it's exactly the unit of measure. Watch this. I want to show you all something first. When we start off in 2015 and we start moving up to Passover, April 4th, we don't see anything playing out here. But let's count, let's count six years ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's Jupiter. There's Saturn. What could be playing out here? Isn't this not the man with the picture of water? The man with the picture of water, the six firkins, the six years from 2015 until 2021. Watch this. I'm going to go back a little bit because I want to show you something. You see here, Mercury, Mercury was way back here. I want you to keep your eye on Mercury. Mercury is the uh, type and shadow of the Holy Spirit. Jupiter here is a type and shadow of God and Venus is a type and shadow of Jesus Christ. So Venus, Jesus Christ, Jupiter, God, and Mercury, the Holy spirit. Watch how Mercury comes in and conjoins with Jupiter. Now watch how this is going to play out. And this is going to begin probably sometime in the next week or two. Mercury is back here by the sign, the man with the pitcher of water. And watch him come forth now and speak to God. Is he going to conjoin with Jupiter? Here it comes. See, Mercury's coming now. And this is Jupiter, Holy Spirit, God, Jesus is Venus. It's coming forward. We're going to go a little bit more for, further into time. Here comes Jupiter. Here comes Mercury and Jupiter ready to conjoin. There it is. March the 4th, March the 5th, and March the 6th. The Holy Spirit is with God the Father. Could it be God the Father now telling the Holy Spirit, telling his son Jesus, who's now clearly with the man with the picture in the sign, could it be God is now commanding the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ in this sign to go get your bride between March 4th, when they start conjoining, March 5th, March 6th, watch this. What did I show you earlier? 1,260 days from the Revelation 12 sign. 1,260 days from the Revelation 12 sign is the sign of the man with the picture. Drop the mic. This is, brothers and sisters, the 1,260 days from the Revelation 12 sign. We clearly now have the exact image of the man with the picture where God, the father, the Holy spirit and Jesus Christ are all conjoined in the, in the sign of the man with the picture prior to April 4th. Could it be brothers and sisters? This is the sign that's playing out when the son is being commanded by the father and the Holy ghost to now go get your bride And the guest chamber is being prepared as we just saw in scripture. Make ready 
the guest chamber. When you are entered into the city, there you shall meet a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he enters. Follow him into the house where he enters. What house is he entering, brothers and sisters? What house is he entering? Let's take a look at that. Aquarius. The house of Aquarius. It's the sign. It's clearly the sign that we should be looking for. When the Holy Spirit and our Lord God conjoin together and discuss when the son should go get his bride in the exact sign where he told us this would play out. That's exactly what we see playing out when we read Luke twenty two ten. They're going to make ready the guest chamber for the bride. Brothers and sisters, I believe what we're looking at is clearly shown on this chart. The Revelation 12 sign, 1260 days to the exact sign, which I just showed you. And then 1290 days, just 30 days later, from March the 4th to to April 4th, 30 days later is now the 1290 days we're told to look for in in, uh, Daniel 12, Resurrection Sunday. First comes the sign of the man in the picture. They're making the guest chamber ready. The Holy Spirit, Mercury, God the Father, Jupiter, conjoining, sending the son to the man of the, with the picture to go get your bride one month prior, 30 days. This is the 1260-day sign from the Revelation 12 sign. Here it is, brothers and sisters. You are now witnessing the sign that we've been led from, from the Revelation 12 sign, the man with the picture playing out in the heavens exactly 1260 days from the Revelation 12 sign. And then 30 days later, the 1290th day, Resurrection Sunday. And then the 1335 days later, God gives the law, the Torah to Israel. Drop the mic. Major bombshell, brothers and sisters, This is the sign, 1260 days after the Revelation 12 sign. We're here, brothers and sisters. This sign only plays out during the Passover season. The man bearing a pitcher of water, and it's at his feet. It's at his feet. Do you see that? He's got the pitcher of water, and when is it? It's six firkins later. We showed that, right? When we go from 2015, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's 2021, and it's playing out. Let me, let me show you how it goes. Let, let's play the whole thing out. So now, here's the father, and there's Mercury going out to the, to, the sun is now leaving. Venus, our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, is now leaving the sign, and the Holy Spirit is entering into the sign. There it is. There it is. Mercury is now entering into the sign and God, the father is watching. He's still there. And as we move forward, there it is. Venus is in the sign of the fish. Our Lord and savior is in his sign of Pisces. Mercury, the Holy spirit is following. And here's God, the father. This brothers and sisters is the date we've been looking for. The man with the picture, God, the father calling out his son to go get your bride, followed by the Holy Spirit. This, brothers and sisters, is, in fact, the sign we have always been looking for. And what does it say in John 2, 4 that we went over earlier? I showed that to you. He says, mine hour is not yet come because he's been waiting for what? This is his time when Passover Sunday turns into resurrection Sunday. Do you see brothers and sisters? Jesus Christ is literally giving us the time frame in John two, five to six. It's the actual date as we've shown in Luke twenty two ten, commanding us to look for the sign with the man in the picture, because what does he say? His time, his hour has not come. And when we go back to Luke twenty two ten. 
He tells us to look for the man with the picture. This is the sign. This sign points to what? Not any other date. It points to the exact date of the first resurrection in 33 AD. This sign that I just played out for you literally points back to the very first resurrection in 33 AD, and it plays out in the heavens one more time. Right now, April 4th, 2021, this sign is playing out, and that's what he's telling us in this verse of Luke 22.10. That day is upon us, brothers and sisters. When the blood moon tetrad appeared, Second Sabbath after the first, see, we're building on this. Second Sabbath after the first, six firkins, six units of measure later, bam. Resurrection Sunday, 2021. When the sign plays out in the heavens, as I just showed you, the sign will be playing out. Brothers and sisters, this this was truly amazing, truly incredible. And it can only happen in a year. We're a Passover Sunday, like I showed you earlier, lands exactly on a resurrection Sunday as it does this year. And then it falls only this time this year on April the 4th. 